Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the Handle Up Kettlebell Goblet Squat. The Handle Up Kettlebell Goblet Squat is taught later in the evolution of how you learn kettlebells. You tend to learn globe up first, or you should, because it allows people to create a counterbalance, which allows them to lean away from the bell, which allows people to improve their squat depth, which overall makes their squat performance better with heavy squats like barbell back squats, with intermediate squats like kettlebell squats, and with body weight squats. The handle up variation that we are going to do now keeps the center of mass of the bell closer to the body. So we want people to have better squat depth before they learn this. But this drill allows us to add a lot of two hand movements before and after the squat in later evolutions so we can add complexity to our movement. The thing that kettlebells do better than everything else is they add complex movements together so you can take pure strength movements and you can turn them into strength endurance movements. Just doing straight squats becomes a burn, but that's kind of not really how the body works in the real world. You add a bunch of complex movements together in every sport and in work. So we're going to break down this goblet up squat, and then in future videos, we're going to add a bunch of stuff to it so we can take deadlift patterns and put them with squat patterns and put them with throwing patterns. You have to understand the basics first so you can add stuff to it later. With all single kettlebell squats, I like to teach feet pointed straight ahead, feet shoulder width apart, because that allows the squat to transition into stepping patterns and into throwing patterns later on. Kettlebell squats are different from like heavy barbell back squats in structure. That's fine, use the appropriate technique for the appropriate implement. Step up to your bell, two feet point straight ahead, feet shoulder width apart, feet pointed generally straight ahead because that's the way we would like to be able to walk. Thumbs point towards the sky, thumbs point forward, track down. We are going to get our bell up, elbows together, and look through the window of the bell. If the window of the bell is at eye height, you're doing it generally correct. Hands together, a lot of people will have elbows out in the beginning, that's fine as long as you don't drop it on your toes. Keep your palms underneath it. Track straight down into our squat. Elbows touch the insides of the knee, lean back, back, back against the weight. Stand all the way up. Straighten your legs out all the way, pull your kneecaps up, squeeze your glutes, drive your rib cage down. That is a cue for every type of squat. Stand all the way up at the top. No quarter reps, no half reps. Get our weight up, track down, elbows to the insides of the knee, lean back, back, back against the weight, stand all the way up. Get all the way down, lean back against the weight, stand all the way up. Lean back against the weight, stand all the way up. When we get down, the elbow position to the inside of the knee is key. If your elbows are down too low, you will notice it does not feel good at all and it places stress on the lower spine. Lift your elbows up to lift the chest up so you can lean back against the weight. Elbow position on the inside of the knee is crucial in all kettlebell squats. This kettlebell squat is generally regarded as more advanced because of the position of the bell. Because it is very close to your body, you have to have pretty good squat depth already in order to really make it effective. This is different from a bottoms up goblet squat where the bell is further away from the body, which we teach in the beginning to help people learn to lean back against the bell to help them increase the mobility of their hips. The other kettlebell squat is the rack position squat where we're in rack position the other time. That moves the weight from the center to one side, which causes the core to fire harder, which helps people get better core development with an intermediate weight. The bottoms up goblet squat you'll see used a lot by CrossFit athletes because it's more similar in structure to their barbell squats. Set the kettlebell down with good technique. When you are working out on different surfaces, you will find that your feet may move while you're in the rock bottom position. That's fine. We're just working on trying to keep the idea of feet generally pointed straight ahead so that we can link this squat into stepping patterns later on and into throwing patterns. 
This squat is a simple exercise, but it goes into that pantheon of kettlebell squats. Bottoms up squat, the center of mass of the bell is furthest away from the body, so it's the one we teach first because it helps people lean back against the weight. Then we teach rack squat because it helps people learn how to have an offset center of mass. It causes people to develop more core structure because they're fighting the roll of a heavy weight. The handle up kettlebell squat is the one that we teach usually latest because this one can link into some two-handed swinging and throwing patterns and that will allow us to take pure squats and combine them with deadlift and clean power patterns. The goal of all of these squats is to get the tailbone down and to help verticalize the spine. As your squat depth increases, everything about your athleticism can increase. Kettlebells are intermediate weights. They are done for intermediate to long periods of time because the goal of kettlebell lifting is endurance weightlifting. It can be sets of five and five in the beginning, but over time, the goal of kettlebell training is to work on all the positions so they can link one after each other so you can learn to not put the bell down for 10, 20, 30 minutes to an hour.